सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव पादरायण सूत्रभाष्यत वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहनावत सहनौनक्त सह वीर कहवाह तेजस्वीतमस्तुमाशावे ओं शांत शांत शांति धातुर्ब्रह्मव संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यात्च्य प्रकृति धातुब्रह्मात्मने नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता अंडम व्यक्त संभव अंडस्यांतस्मे लोका सप्तद्वीपा चे दिन ओके सो दिफ्टींथ चैप्टर भगवान भाष्यकर आट सेट चतुर्भ्लोक विभूति संक्षेप आह भगवान सो भगवान कृष्ण थ्रू दी फोर वर्सेस स्टार्टिंग विथ ट्वेल्थ इज टॉकिंग अबाउट हिज विभूति इन अ संक्षेप वेरी ब्रीफली टू क्लैरिफाई दट दी पद विच हैज बीन डिस्कस्ड इन दिस चैप्टर एटेनिंग विच there is moksha that is sarvatma bhava that pada is sarvatmatvam padasya sarvatmatvam pada has sarvatma bhava therefore sarva vyavahara aspadam cha sarva vyavahara aspadatvam is what the pada has which is brahma bhava and to talk about that, desire is to discuss that continuing with the vibhuti what does he say he says kama vishya cha bhutani dharayam yah mojasa no it is the chaushadi sarvaha somo bhutva rasatmakah so gama vishya gam gam avishya sorry skin cha is not needed gam avishya आवश्य च भूतानी धारयामी दैट्स अ वर्ड धारयामी अहम ओजसा उष्णामी च औषधी सर्वाह सोमह भूत्वा रसात्मकः सो सो गाम आवश्य आवश्य लेबंत आवश्य प्रविश्य having having entered what gam so gam is earth ga is earth there so gam is an object to avishya having entered prithvi that's the idea there prithvi so gam is equal to prithvi says bhagwan bhashya kara and avishya is equal to pravishya aham pravishya bhutani dharayami i dharayami is उत्तम पुरुष एक वचन अहम धारयामी धारयामी 
sorry. Yes. Sorry, I have got a new machine. So again, I have to relearn the is okay. So aham dharayami and bhutani is dvitiya as an object to dharayami. Bhutani dharayami. I sustain, I support or sustain the bhutas, all the beings. How? Ojasa pushnamicha. So gam avishya. Dharayami because Prithvi is well known as a supporter. Prithvi is what, what holds the beings, all the beings. And Bhagavan Krishna says that I enter the Prithvi and then as Prithvi, Prithvi Rupena, Aham Bhutani Dharayami. Further, what? Ojasa Pushnami Cha. Ojasa with the Ojas with the strength. Tritya Ekochana Pushnami Cha. Also nourish them. I nourish them through the strength. Aushadihi. Aushadi Sarva. So Aushadi um, is Sarva Somaha Bhutva Rasatmaka. So Aushadihi Pushnami. Aushadihi Pushnami. So Aushadi is Dvitiya. Bhavachana Sarvaha Sar So Sarvaha is also like Rama Shabda Rama Rami Ramaha Ramam Rami Ramaha and Aushadi is like Nadi Shabda Nadi Nadyo Nadjaha Nadi Nadyo Nadi Hi So that is it Vitiya Bhavachana So Mahabhutva How do I nourish So Mahabhutva Having become Prithvi I support them Having become so Maha Chandraha, I, I nourish Pushnami Ojasa Aushadi Sarvaha. So Rasatmaka, So Maha is, So Maha is of the, Chandra is said to be of the nature of Rasa. Rasatmaka ha, So Maha and Rasatmaka ha, So Maha Bhutva Aham Sarvaha Aushadi Cha. Pushnami. I nourish all the aushad, all the herbs, all the crops I nourish because in, in sun there is some effect. In the moonlight there is some other effect. So the, uh, the trees need shade as well. They need the moonlight also to nourish them. And Rasatmaka So Mahachandra Bhagwan Krishna says that I become, Ishara becomes Chandra Prithvi, all that is Ishwara. So this is the Vibhuti of Bhagavan. So Aham Gam Avishya Chabhutani Bharayami. Then Aham Rasatmakaha Somaha Bhutva Aushadhihi Sarvaha Aushadhihi Pushnami. So this is the Anvaya. What is Ga? Ga is Prithvi, so Dithiya. A question is Gam Avishya, Prithvi Mavishya, meaning Pravishya, having entered the Prithvi Bhutan, Dharayami Bhutani, Bhutani or Jagat, the entire Prapancha, Aham Dharayami, and Ojasa Balena through the strength. Okay, I have not added that. So that can go with Ojasa Dharayami. So Bhutani, Ojasa. Aham Gam Avishya. Bhutani Ojasad Harayami. Through the strength, I support the people. So the strength in the Prithvi is Bhagavan's strength, Ishwara's strength, and Aham Rasatmaka Soma Bhutva Sarvaha Aushadicha Pushnami. So Ojasa is equal to Balena through the strength. Yad Balam Kamaraga Vivarjitam Aishwaram Rupam Jagad Vidharanaya 
पृथिव्याम आविष्टम येन पृथ्वी गुरुवी न अदफ पतति न विधीर्यते च सो व्हाट इज दैट स्ट्रेंथ इज बीइंग एक्सप्लेन्ड बाय भगवान भाष्यकार इस इज दैट स्ट्रेंथ व्हिच इज बिरेफ्ट ऑफ कामराग विवर्जितम बिकॉज़ वी सी वेयर एवर देयर इज स्ट्रेंथ देयर देयर कैन आल्सो बी इनजस्टिस no powerful people in are in control of things whatever they do we have to follow but then this is not that kind of bala this bala is kama raga vivarjitam ishwara does not need anything out of that supporting others supporting beings and there is no raga either it is all neutral everyone is supported equally kama raga vivarjitam balam that is aishwaram it is ishwariya shakti ईश्वरीय बलम देयरफॉर इट इज कॉल्ड एज ईश्वरम ईश्वर संबंधी इत्यर्थ ईश्वरम बिलोंग इन टू ईश्वर इज दिस बला व्हिच इज बिरेफ्ट ऑफ काम राग इत्यादि ईश्वरम रूपम सो इट इज ईश्वरम रूपम एंड जगत विधारणाय फॉर होल्डिंग द जगत पृथिव्याम आविष्टम एंटर्ड इनटू पृथ्वी पृथिव्याम सप्तमी सो इन पृथ्वी आविष्टम एंड ड्यू टू दैट बला बलेन आविष्टम येन पृथ्वी गुरुवी न अदफ पतति एंड ड्यू टू दैट ड्यू टू व्हिच एंटरिंग इनटू पृथ्वी थ्रू हिज बला दिस ऐश्वरम रूपम बलम ड्यू टू दैट व्हाट हैपेंस पृथ्वी गुरुवी पृथ्वी इज गुरुवी इज हेवी and that is ishwara's strength through which prithvi is heavy guruvi and they guruvi prithvi api na adah patati meaning it is heavy and it holds others weight also supporting every being on earth the earth supports and then does not fall down adah na patati अदाहपतिपार्ट ईश्वर बल विच दि पृथ्वी यूटिलाइज तथा च मंत्र वर्ण एंड देर इज वैदिक मंत्र विच एक्सप्लेन दिस येन द्यौरुग्रा पृथ्वी च दृढ़ा स दाधार पृथ्वी इत्यादि सो देर इज अ मंत्र विच सेज येन द्यौ द्यौ इज स्वर्ग उग्र उग्रायस उग्रा पृथ्वी उग्रायस त्रिलिंग सो पृथ्वी च सो दि स्वर्ग एज वेल एज दि भूलोका दृढा येन भवति येन ईश्वरेण ड्यू टू दैट ब्रह्म तत्व ईश्वर तत्व दि पृथ्वी एंड स्वर्ग बिकम आर दृढा आर स्टडी इति सदाधार पृथ्वी सदाधार इज लिटलकारा दाधार धाधातु सेम इज धारयामि इन लटलकारा दाधादार इन तृति इन प्रथम पुरुष एकवचन लिटलकारा सदाधार मींस इट दैट हेल्ड दैट इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट देयर इन द तैत्रीय संहिता बोथ मंत्रास आर फ्रॉम तैत्रीय संहिता देयर इट इज हिरण्य गर्भ ईश्वरा हु मैनिफेस्ट एज हिरण्य गर्भ स हिरण्य गर्भ पृथ्वीम दाधार ही सपोर्टेड हेल्ड दी पृथ्वी इत्यादि च दैट इज द मंत्र व्हिच इज सोर्स फॉर भगवान भाष्यकारस इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ दी दिस अदाना पतति विधीर्यते च इत्यादि फर्दर अतः गाम आविश्य भूतानि 
what are these bhutani characharani whether they are sentient or insentient actually characharan is literally moving or non moving both are supported dharayami i support iti yukta muktam so due to this mantra varna krishna bhagavan krishna is not teaching something else he is teaching the same thing which is there in the vedas and upanishads kinch prithivyam jataha aushadihi sarvaha all the aushadis which are herbs crops which are born on prithvi what are those vihi avadhyaha so all the all the aushadis paddy all the paddy barley any of these you know that is vrihi so the rice or you know rice is basically uh, vrihi the paddy and then the husk is taken out then you say that it is rice but otherwise vrihi can be said as paddy or rice yava yava yavadhyaha so all these are grains pushnami pushtimatihi pushnami means what pushtimatihi rasasvadu matischa karomi so pushtimati make them you know nourishing the this is strilinga pushtimatihi rasasvadu matihi cha so matupanta make them you know to have endowed with nourishment and essence rasa and taste also swadumati all that is made by bhagwan so he says aham karomi how somo bhutva rasatmaka somaha who is this somaha soma is rasatmaka so rasatmaka somaha san what is rasatmaka rasasvabhava atma there is swabhavarte so rasa is the swabhav of chandra sarva rasanam akarah somaha so he says why so because sarva rasanam sarva rasanam of all nutrients akarah akara is a repository chandra is the repository somaha chandra is repository of all rasas sahi sarva rasatmaka sarvaha aushadihi swatma rasan anupraveshayan pushnati and that moon sah that moon who is that moon really ishara ishara says that uh, rasatmaka somo bhutva so having become that kind of somaha the moon or ishara in the form of moon rasatmaka sun being of the nature of nutrients nourish sarva aushadi ras swatma rasan anupraveshayan pushnati anupraveshayan this is anupravesha is entering but anupraveshayan anupraveshayan is causative infusing so causing to enter sarva uh, swatma rasan one's own rasa soma is rasatmaka that soma infuses rasa unto all these aushadis sarva aushadi swatma rasan anupraveshayan pushnati so chandra nourishes that is ishara nourishes the next verse kincha further what is vibhuti who wants to take this yeah i can take this yeah aham kincha sorry अहम वैश्वानरो भूत्वा प्राणिनां देहमाश्रितः प्राणापानसमायुक्तः पचाम्यन्नं चतुर्विधम् अहम वैश्वानरः भूत्वा प्राणिनां देहम् आश्रितः प्राणापानसमायुक्तः दैट इज वन वर्ड पचामि अन्नं चतुर्विधम् सो पचामि इज द क्रियापद भूत्वा 
प्राणिना षष्टि बहुवचन देहम इज द्वितीय एक वचन देहम आश्रित आश्रित एक्चुअली आई एम नॉट एबल टू गेट या प्रथम आई प्राणापान सामुक्त प्रथम एक वचन पचा देन अन्न चतुर्विध में द्वितीय एक वचन बोथ बोथ आर द्वितीय एक वचन सपोर्टिंग देहम आश्रित देहम विच देह प्राणी नाम देह सो बींग सपोर्टिंग दि बॉडी आश्रित सपोर्टिंग आय हु वैश्वानर भूत देहम आश्रित केशा देह प्राणी नाम देहम ऑफ ऑल बींग्स वॉट डज ही डू प्राणापान सामुक्त एंडोड विथ सामुक्त वेरी वेल एंडोड सम्यक्तया आयुक्त प्राणापान सो एंडोड विथ वेरी वेल एंडोड विथ प्राण एंड अपान वॉट डस भगवान डू दट वैश्वान अग्नि बिकमिंग वैश्वान अग्नि हि मैनेज इज दि प्राण एंड अपान इन सच अ मैनर दैट देर इज डाइजेशन सो प्राण अपान इज जस्ट एन उपलक्षण देर because prana and apana is what is known outward as well inhalation and exhalation once it goes within then it becomes pancha prana and thereby pachami annam chaturvidam annam pachami so there are four types of anna which are digested <coughs> i'm sorry pachami means i digest he says vaishwanara the vaishwanara agni digest which is none other than bhagavan yes. नमस्ते आनंद Have you been waiting for long? Yeah, about five minutes. Oh, sorry. So no problem. I myself was late. I got confused about uh, daylight savings. Oh, okay. Started <laughs> timing, recent. Timing yeah. change from today, no? Yeah, it's on uh, Monday actually. Monday I joined properly. Then today I forgot. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, aham. Uh-huh. वैश्वानरहूतवाइश्वानरहूतवाइश्वानरहूतवाइश्वानरहूतवाइश्वानरहूतवाइश्वानरहूतवाइश्वानरहूतवाइश्वानरहूतवाइश्वानरहूतवा
this anna is digested that is vaishvanarha who is there in purusha purusha there is in each and every being there ityadi shrutih due to such shrutis vaishvanarha san praninam meaning pra- pranavatam praninam is are those who are prani pra- prani is prana yesham santi iti prani nah tesham praninam meaning Matupartaini, therefore, Matup is used here to say, explain that. Pranavatam, Deha Mashritaha, Pravishtaha, having entered. Pranapana Samayuktaha, that is Pranapana Bhyam Samayuktaha, Sanyukta. So, very well managing, you can just say managing, joining Prana and Pana, because, uh, pra, uh, sorry, Prana and Apana, Prana and Apana join halfway through. Which is where Jatragni, you know, starts utilizing that and then burns the prana and apana to get the digestive system going. And thereby Pachami. Pachami is Paktin Karomi. So he explains that also. Pachami means what I do, I digest. What do I digest? Annam. Annam, not any anna which is there outside. It has to be eaten first. So Ashanam. Ashanam Chaturvidam. The four days of four types. Chaturvidam is Chatush Prakaram of four types. What are those four types? Chaturvidam Annam are Bhojyam, Bhakshyam, Choshyam, Lehyam Cha. There are four types of there are four types of food. What are those? Bho, uh, bhojyam. So Bhojyam is that which is swallowed. The food which can be swallowed directly. Bhakshyam. Bhakshyam is supposed to be that which is chewable. Should be chewed and eaten. Choshyam is that which can be, you know, like mango or something which can be sucked. And then layam. Layam is that which is licked. So, um, you know, even in uh, uh, in the Ayurveda, you have leha. So leha is uh, from lehdhatu. Leha is to lick. So it is something which should be licked. It is not that you know you just. Uh, uh, dissolve it in something or drink it. Any leha in Ayurveda, it should be licked, not just you know uh, dissolved in something or you know chewed and or swallowed directly. It should be, it should go via the tongue. So therefore, leham. So there are four types of food, and all these food are digested by Bhagwan. Bhokta Vaishwanaraha Agnihi Agnehe Bhojam Annam Somaha Tadetat Ubhayam Agni Shomau Sarvam Iti Pashataha Anna Doshalepaha Nabhavati. Now, in the context, Bhagavan Bhashyakara says, if you know that Bhagavan is Vaishwanaraha Agnihi, then it will help a lot. How so? Because we eat things but then we eat all sorts of things there is no purity in food however much do you try to keep the food pure there is an entire chain which leads to the food and thereby there are anna doshas anna dosha anna dosha lepaha na bhavati one is not tainted by the doshas of anna when if bhokta vaishvanaraha agnihi vaishvanara agnihi we know already what Vaishwan Ragni is. Now, Bhokta. Who is Bhokta? The partaker of food. Who happens to be me? So, Vaishwan Ragni, Bhokta, and Agnehe Bhojyam Annam. Agnehe Bhojyam. Meaning, what is eaten? What is the, the, the uh, Agni? Agnihi is Vaishwan Ragni. Then, so, how, what is this mantra saying really is that iti pashyataha, one who sees in this manner, in which manner this bhokta, I the bhokta really, one considers I am the bhokta, but instead of that, one should think of Vaishwanara Agni as bhokta. I am just taking care of this Vaishwanara Agni, who happens to be Ishara. So, I am not the bhokta, Vaishwanara Agni is the bhokta. And thereby you feed this bhojyam, bhaksham, chosyam, lehyam, chatush prakaram or chaturvidam, annam to that vaishwana ragnihi. 
एंड अग्नि है भोज्यम अन्नम सोमहा एंड हु इज दी ईटन भोज्यम भोज्यम हियर भोज्यम इज वन ऑफ दी फोर टाइप्स ऑफ फूड बट भोज्यम इट सेल्फ युत्पत्ति अर्थ इज दैट विच कैन बी ईटन सो ऑल अन्न विच इज ईटन ये सोमहा चंद्र सो अग्नि ही इज द कंज्यूमर एंड सो महा इज द कंज्यूम इन द फूड दैट आई एम ईटिंग इन द एक्टिविटी ऑफ ईटिंग फूड इफ वन सीज दैट क्रिया एज having a bhokta who is vaishwana or agni and the bhojyam annam as somaha bhojyam for whom for agne agni agne he bhojyam vaishwana ra vaishwana rasya agne he yat bhojyam annam tat somaha or saha somaha videya pradhanyena pullinga you can say that annam tad annam saha somaha yad annam saha somaha तदेतद उभयम अग्निशोम सर्व एंड तदेतद उभयम दिस टू फोल्ड मीनिंग एक्सपीरियंस एंड एक्सपीरियंस्ड एक्सपीरियंसर एंड एक्सपीरियंस हियर इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट लिटरली ईटन एंड दीटर एंजॉयड एंड द एंजॉयर एक्सपीरियंस एंड दस एक्सपीरियंसर सीयर एंड द सीन here are and the heard all this it can be extended further also but currently it is in the context of the anna so whatever is eaten or drunk all that is somaha and who is the eater it is vaishwana ragni iti pashyatah sadakasya one who sees it in this manner tasya anna dosha lepah na bhavati he does not have the lepa lepa is lepa is literally uh, anointing so anointing is what basically one does not get influence or one does not get tainted by the defects of the anna now what are the defects of the anna anna defects are of four type again four types again swabhav dosha ha swabhavata anna has dosha what are those swabhavata dosha is in uh, what is prohibited by shastra for example you know onion garlic all these are prohibited by shastra so those are those are swabhav dosha those uh, rather the anna dosha category they fall into are swabhavata doshavat so therefore swabhav dosha anna dosha Includes onion, garlic, and such, which are prohibited by shastras. Nimitta dosha. Then there is nimitta dosha. Nimitta dosha is some nimitta, some occasion. The food is okay, uh, whatever it is, you have avoided the prohibited. But then, when you are eating food or when cooking or something, there is nimitta. Some nimitta comes in, and then there is a wind or something, or you know, there the hair falls within. so hair or insect falls in you know whatever it brings in some dust or these are the nimitta doshas all that will be there in the anna again because it is mixed up so that's why when uh, you know you find a hair in uh, in food it is not just you know to be taken away there is some ritualistic you know something should be done to further purify it if at all it has to be consumed or people leave also you know they don't eat such food आश्रय दोषा आश्रय दोषा इज देर दी दुकिंग वेसल आश्रय सो दी अनक्लीन वेसल आश्रय इज ऑल्सो द कुक दी वन हू हैंडल्स दी फूड वन हू हैंडल्स दी दी सोर्स ऑल्सो सो राइट फ्रॉम ग्रोइंग दी फूड टू कटिंग इट टू ट्रांसफरिंग इट मीन ट्रांसपोर्टिंग इट स्टॉकिंग इट selling it then one who buys one who delivers one who cooks one who clean, all the entire chain you know the entire supply chain dosha is ashray dosha right up to being served one who is cooking 
one who serves all that can be the same person of course it can be the same eater also the entire chain the doshas of the entire the participants of the entire chain is ashraya dosha so that is the ashraya dosha there further then you have uh, last is the satva dosha satva dosha swam there is dhanam so satva dosha is dhana dhana which is used for food the way it is earned that also adds to the dosha that's why there are people who don't take you know there are some ashrams who do not take dana which is offered by people who earn money through unrighteous means because it will affect the the uh, person who takes it it will affect as well so that is true with the anna also so anna dana given by someone who himself uh, you know earns money through questionable means that will affect the anna also now all these swabhava dosha nimitta dosha ashraya dosha and satva dosha are anna doshas those doshas will affect the eater but one who looks at the eating kriya in such a manner that agni is the eater vaishwanar agni and soma is the eaten that person is not affected by anna dosha so that's the uh, 14th verse who wants to take the next i can take yeah yeah sarvasya chaham hridi sannivishto mat spriti gyanam mapohanam cha वेदैश्चर्वैरहमेव वेद्यो वेदातृद्वेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेद
अपोहम अपोहनम अपोहनमु प्रथम एक वचन च अव्यय वेद तृतीय बहुवचन च अव्यय तृतीय बहुवचन प्रथम एक वचन अव्यय प्रथम एक वचन देन प्रथम एक वचन प्रथम एक वचन देन सर्वस्य अहम हृदय संयुष्ट being present in all beings uh, i mean for all being hridi in the hearts of all beings so in in the heart of all beings matta from me so not being i am so sanyushta i am present sarvasya aham sarvasya hridi sanyushta bhavami matta from me is what smriti jnanam apohanam all this is from me vedaihi cha sarvaihi sarvaihi vedaihi who should be known aham eva vedya vedya vedana yogya one who is fit to be known one who should be known for moksha who is that it is bhagwan through all the shruti vakyas what is revealed is ishwara who is revealed is ishwara further so smriti jnan apohanam see smriti and apohanam go together smriti memory is bhagwan what about the loss of memory apohanam forgetfulness that is also bhagwan and then aham vedya sarvaihi ved vedaihi aham vedya i should be known through all vedas they reveal me vedant krut veda vit cha eva aham and i am here vedant krut here is creator of vedanta veda vit is also the knower so he is the creator he is the knower as well so the entire basically it covers the entire gamut you know so the entire thing is nothing but ishwara so nothing uh, to do there i mean no uh, anvaya really sarvasya hridi aham sannivishta that is first sentence and then matta smriti jnana apohanancha second sentence bhavati or bhavanti also then sarvaihi vedaihi aham eva vedya asmi so that is another sentence and vedanta kru veda veda vichcha aham eva asmi so four sentences can be made sarvasya cha sarvasya cha prani jatasya so the entire group jata here is the group so of the entire group of pranis aham atma san hridi in the buddhi sannivishtah i am present in all seated present seated in all beings in the buddhi of all beings is there everywhere but known in the buddhi closest that's why the first first identification is with the buddhi with the ego ataha mattaha from me atmanah sarva praninam smriti hi from from me in the sense from that atma swarupa which i am from me is all this from the self so here mattah um, mattah atmanah yeah it can be that also mattah can be uh, due to me also so if you take panchami as hetau then due to me from the atma that is also possible sarva praninam smriti hi there is smriti memory for all beings of all beings is due to me or from me that it is due, due to me you know instead of saying from me it is better to say due to me jnanam tad apohanancha all this means smriti memory jnana and forgetfulness of that very jnana which one has learned one may forget laukika laukika par laukika not atma jnana atma jnana takes away avidya so there is no forgetting possible and the memory has nothing to do with atma jnana the way atma jnana works so tad apohanam cha means apagamanam cha going away of that memory and jnana which is gained yesham yatha punya karmanam punya karmanu rodhena jnana smriti bhavatah tatha paap karmanam paap karmanu rupena smriti jnana yo apohanam cha apayanam apagamanam cha so he says for good memory you need punya so for people who have done punya karma punya karma naam so those who have punya karma bahuri this is indicating people 
पुण्य कर्मणाम पुरुषाणाम सो फॉर दो मनुष्याणाम राज यूज अ पर्टिक्युलर जेंडर सो मनुष्याणाम येषाम यथा पुण्य कर्मणाम पुण्य कर्मानुरोधेन दोज हु हैव पुण्य कर्मा फॉर देम ड्यू टू द अनुरोध ऑफ पुण्य कर्मा व्हाट हैपेंस दिस हेतौ तृतीया ड्यू टू द अनुरोध ड्यू टू द अनुरोध और इन कीपिंग विथ द पुण्य कर्म दैट इज अनुरोधेन ज्ञान स्मृति भवतः ड्यूअल सो ज्ञान एंड स्मृति आर ड्यू टू दैट रीजन इट्स ज्ञान आल्सो नीड्स पुण्य बैकिंग स्मृति आल्सो नीड्स पुण्य बैकिंग तथा पाप कर्मणाम इफ पुण्य इज लैकिंग एंड फर्दर इफ देयर इज पाप देन पाप कर्मानुरूपेण इन सो अनुरोधेन अनुरूपेण हैव सेम मीनिंग इन कीपिंग विद द पाप कर्म स्मृति ज्ञानो ज्ञानयो हो अपोहनं च देयर इज apohana there is going away of memory as well as jnana that is the effect of papa karma vedaischa sarvaihi through all the vedas aham eva who is that aham parmatma eva vidyah vidya means veditavya kartavyataya vedanam so vedanam should be kartavyataya one should no with all the effort that is possible one should make that effort and know that kind of paramatma who is revealed in vedas that happens to be ishwara who bhagwan krishna says i am that ishwara vedanta krut vedanta krut is vedantartha sampradaya krut ityartha who are those vedanta krut means vedanta krut there are no vedanta krut in a sense it is not created Upanishad or Veda mantras are not really created. So here he says the no, the Vedanta Krut is one who is a creator of the sampradaya of teaching. So it is a teaching tradition. He says Vedanta sampradaya Krut. Vedanta Krut is not really. It's a Madhya Upanishad Lopi Samasa. Vedanta Krut is Vedanta Artha sampradaya Krut. Those who teach the meaning of the Vedanta. meaning in the, the who is a creator of sukrut so is what creator of the teaching tradition and who is that that is the adi guru who is what we say that sada shiva samarambham or beginning with narayana that is ishwara ityartha veda with what is veda with vedartha with veda with is one who knows vedas means what one who knows the meaning of the vedas purport of the vedas evacha aham i am ज्ञानी ऑल्सो इज ईश्वर भगवत ईश्वर भगवत ईश्वर से नारायणाख्य विभूति संक्षेप उक्त सो ट्वेल थर्टी फोर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन वेर दी फोर वर्सेस विच ब्रीफली थ्रू विच ब्रीफली भगवान रिवील्ड हिज विभूति सो भगवत ईश्वर से narayana akya so is also called as narayana that ishwara of that ishwara of that bhagwan vibhuti sankshepa brief brief sum up of vibhutis has been stated uktaha vishishto upadi krutaha yadatitya gatan tejaha ityadina how is how through the verse 12th verse onwards Specifically, you know, विशिष्ट उपाधि कृता. What is that uh, विभूति संक्षेप? It is कृता. It is that summary of all these विभूति glories are all manifest due to the उपाधि. They are created due to specific उपाधि, विशिष्ट उपाधि. That's why all glories are not seen in all things. and all people some are manifest in some some places some are manifest vividly so aditya gatam teja there if you recall the puropaksha had the question if you say this teja is chaitanya chaitanya is not different in aditya soma in uh, an insect in a manushya it is all same so why do you say that it is chaitanya teja and why will ishwara be chaitanya who is present only in aditya so there it is vishishto upadhi krutha where 
some specific thing is revealed in a spec only in a specific place does not mean it is not there in others but it is revealed in using some upadis athaduna <coughs> now tasseva sharaksharo upadi pravibhaktataya nirupadikasya kevalasya swaswarupa nirdidhar yishaya uttare shlokah aarabhyante so now there after now atha there after now tasseva tasseva same thing which has gone by tasseva narayanasya bhagavata ishwarasya sharaksharo upadi pravibhakta taya how it is explained in the manner pravibhakta taya nirupadikasya kevalasya so the kevala nirupadika nirguna brahmana ishwaras vibhuti dar vidhi upadi is here earlier upadi krutha vishishta upadi krutha vibhuti sankshepa now tasseva ishwarasya naranakhyasya bhagavata who is nirupadika who does not have a, not only vishishta upadi he does not have any upadi nirguna brahmana of nirguna brahma who is kevala kevala brahmana sharaksharo upadi pravibhaktataya pravibhaktataya as different from <coughs> as different from whom just give me one moment <coughs> sorry <coughs> so as dif- differentiated or distinguished from shara and akshara upadi whether you consider all the mortals having shara upadi or you consider as an immortal devata ityadi not really immortal but ishwara also you can say with the upadi of narayana vishnu shiva devi brahma whatever you have all the upadis so akshara upadi or shara upadi being associated with shara upadi or akshara upadi is the ishara now differentiated from that and being free from any upadi thereby nirupadika brahma kevala brahma nirguna brahma thereby tasseva nirupadikasya kevalasya swarupa nirdidharishaya nirdidharishaya uttare shlokah aarabhyante so here sananta si nirdhara nirdhara now nir not nirdhara nir ni purvaka didhara so you see that there is a doubling there so sananta dhatu from which you have uh, it has been derived so generally we look at nirdharana is a known word nirdharana and then if you consider you know take a bhave uh pratya like lut and nirdharanam and you see sananta here so is there so to desire icharte san is there so vita here vita tritya is there ishaya so the taya vita desire icharte san therefore vita desire to do nirdharana meaning with a desire to ascertain what swarupa with a desire to ascertain the nature of whose nature of the kevala nirguna brahma who is nirupadika as differentiated from kshara and akshara upadi that kind of a nirguna brahmana to do the ascertainment as to ascertain with a desire to ascertain the nature of the of nirguna brahma in short uttare shloka arabhyante so so far saguna brahma has been discussed now nirguna brahma who is not different from saguna is be, going to be discussed therefore the next shlokas are begun tatra sarvam eva atita atita anagata adhyayartha jatam tridha rashi kritya ah so rashi kritya meaning making a rashi having made a rashi have, so having made a rashi means what 
having made a grouping rashi is basically heap having made a group so rashi kritya having brought together having group together ah bhagavan what tridha sarvam eva atita anagata adhyayartha jatam atita means that which has gone by and then anagata means which have not come up yet in this chapter or uh, in the adhyaya adhyaya is given so in the chapters which have gone by atita adhyaya and anagata adhyaya which have not come the chapters which have gone by and the chapters which are going to follow later chapters ati atita anagata adhyaya artha jatam so tridha rashi krutya having brought together having group together what the artha jat artha jatam is group of subject matters arthas which have gone by in the earlier chapters and which are going to come up in the later chapters bhagwan is having is going to speak about them in the next verses having grouped them in or you know having brought them together together in a threefold manner tridha rashi krutya having grouped them in three groups basically and then he talks about the next verse we'll look at this next verse in the next part so we'll stop here and uh, we'll continue in the next part ha narayana paro vyakta dandam avyakta sambho mandasya antastumi loka saptad dipa chami dini any questions i had a question on yes this, uh, the word uh, soma here uh, because soma that word itself has so many meanings and contexts so soma uh, is chandra see what is the soma. context of soma See if you look at the earlier verse. Uh, earlier verse also, you may have missed it when joined late. But Soma was talked about here as well. See, Gam Avishya Jo Bhutani Dharayami. Aham. So I'll go to the Anvaya rather. Aham Gam Avishya. Gam is Prithvi. Having entered the Prithvi, Aham Ojasa Balena. With the strength, I hold the Bhutas. So Ishara enters the earth, or rather, in the form of earth. supports all the beings however you want to interpret this but then further aham rasatmaka somaha bhutva now this soma is not any other soma it is chandra because he has quoted these also tatha cha mantra varna yena dhyorugra prithvi cha drida sa dadhara prithvi and then he said he is made up sarva rasanam akara somaha soma is chandra it can't be soma rasa soma okay it is the soma which is chandra who is going to supply who supplies the nutrients through the moonlight the crops get the is a, akara is a repository so that, that's why uh, nutrients are available only through moonlight that is the understanding therefore soma is moon and he nourishes all the aushris all the vrihi avadi he nourishes becoming chandra that is the meaning of soma here okay so in the next shloka when uh, in the bhashya in the 14th shloka bhashya where uh, it says agneya bhojam annam somah yeah there also it's the same meaning yes it's the same meaning okay see this is for for removing doshas what should be done so this is in the context he is mentioned here see uh what has been said here i am vaishwana that's chaturvidam annam pachami this is this is the shloka shloka has nothing to do with uh, you know what bhagwan bhashyakara is saying is in the context he is saying that as sadakas whatever you eat they will little have doshas so he is helping us out by giving us a solution to not be tainted by those dosh, those doshas so there you have to think about you know you keep this uh, idea in the mind that i am not eating vaishwana ragni is eating and what is he eating he is eating this food whatever is the food all that food is nothing but soma 
So this is a solution given by uh, Vedas itself for removal of doshas. We can follow those Dharma Shastra rule. So okay. it is in the context that he brings up. It is not a part of the shloka. So in the next shloka, that's what it is. It is, I mean, Soma is not mentioned here at all in the next shloka. He just says, Am Vaishvanara Bhutva Chatur Vidam Annam Pachami. So that's all. There is nothing about Chandra in this Soma or Chandra in this verse at all. Okay. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. Namaste. Namaste.